Child Support Agency says it does take all breaches of data security seriously. And HMRC point to the fact that the missing disks were password protected. So I'm going to test whether that is really enough to keep our information safe. Right, Simon, I've got a computer disk here with my information on it. I've protected it with a password, just like the missing disks were protected. How difficult would it be to get into this now? Well, the easiest way to find out, Fiona, is to have a go. There's various different techniques that we can use that will speed up the process. Uh, and one we're going to use today is called a biographical technique. We input it into the computer. It will then build a database of suspected passwords that you would actually choose yourself. Because most people use something to do with their life so they can remember a password. A absolutely, yeah. Now, how safe then is the use of a password? If you wanted to protect important information, data that could have massive ramifications if it was gone, uh, got into the wrong hands, then it's absolutely inadequate. The only way of even considering transmitting that data would be via an encrypted method. How are we going then here? What's uh, it done so far? We have so far gone through just over 5 million uh, 600,000 password combinations. As you see we're now up to, oh there you go, password cracked. That's three, it? Three letters, three digits. So we can close that, we now know what it is. Do you want me to say that? Ha the ha password is LIV123, L-I-V-123, so there's a good you know, reasonable protection there because you're using alphas and numerics. And there's your photo, wow. Fiona Foster. Reporter tonight with Trevor McDonald. That's terrifying. I mean, how, how quick was that? 16 minutes, 14 seconds.